Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Uh, this is a demonstration of free plane, and I wanted to go ahead and show you the installation process. They say it's pretty easy. I'm a little skeptical. So I'm going to go ahead and download it. And it looks like it's started. I'm on Fedora 13, and we should have a fairly fast connection. And I'll pause in the meantime. I'm going to say free free plane into a new folder. Let's see, not there. So I'm going to create it. Free plane. Save. It's downloading, and it says 11 minutes, 13 minutes. I'll be back. Okay, so I've downloaded free plane bin. It should be in my user files, wherever those are, home folder. I'll try home folder. Okay, and I pretty I thought that I created a free plane. I guess I didn't. All right, so it didn't work. All right, so what I'll do is uh, I'll unzip this file as they say I should. Um, right here is the um, instructions. So I unzip it and then just run .sh. All right, so um, right click, extract here. See what happens. Uh, there it is, okay, and free plane, double click. Here's the .eh, okay, so there's free plane.sh. We will uh, create a terminal. Move that in the middle here so everybody can see it, and ls. CD free plane dash all right and ls and what was the command again I always forget this one free plane and it's um, free plane dot sh so we'll try that. All right, I think it's dot slash dot sh free plane dot sh. Oh, I should know this command, but I forget. Oh, that's not good. Oh, right, history grip. Okay, we're still working on the problem. Okay, so if I want to run it, I need to use the sh command, but it didn't work. Okay, so we'll pause. Okay, going the lazy way out, I will uh, right click and then run it in the terminal. Open and I'll run it in terminal. And it will fire up here in a moment. Free plane 1.1.2. User pattern files, framework launched. So you can see all of the stuff that's going on in the back, which I find interesting. 
Uh, it tells me which Java version it's launched in, uh, which could be good for debugging, etc. And here is the initial view of Freeplane. And I just hit the escape key to try and center it. It worked. Okay, that's good. So I've got a bunch of um, hotkeys that I can use. Uh, looks like the cloud colors, etc. Okay, I've got a bunch of new tools that look interesting. This is the first use. Let's go ahead and file open um, an existing one, an existing mind map that I created on uh, using FreeMind. So I'm going to open up uh, an old FreeMind document and see what it looks like. Uh, okay, it is loading, and it did load, so that's very good. Now let's see if the links work. I just clicked on one, and it did work, but it doesn't show... Okay, so the maps are down here at the bottom, and not where they used to be on the top. Can I move this up to the top? It's probably a preference, or maybe it is a preference. So my icons were saved. Uh, that's all good. So there it is, free plane. Now, one of the things I really wanted to check was the search. I understand there's a search. If I right click, uh, I can navigate between the various. Um, oh, look at that filter toolbar. No filtering. So, how do I filter? That's what I wanted to look for is the search question. Is question a search? Ah, no. Ah, look at that. So I can... Ve okay, I'm not quite sure what that does. Uh, but let's try the filter. Show ancestors, redo, undo. Filtering. Filtering. Currently selected nodes. Okay, so if I filter this node, what happens? I don't know. Um, all right, so filter composer, it's some sort of search tool. All right, lots to learn here. Thanks for watching, and that is free playing. Interesting. Okay, cancel that. Thanks for watching, and happy computing.